Today what we're going to be doing is using Google Code Assist within the Visual Studio environment and uh, Google Code Assist is a really powerful assistant for your programming tasks as well as your SQL and your data development tasks and uh, what we're going to do today is just uh, get you set up, show you how to use it and I'm going to show you how to get some prompts going. What we're going to be doing today is getting Google's Gemini working for you in Visual Studio Code and then I'm going to show you a little bit about how to use it and um, some of the cool features that it's available. So the way to enable it is just go to your extensions and then you can type in Google Cloud. So type in Google. All right, so Gemini Code Assist plus Google Cloud Code. Click on it and it'll install. It'll take a couple of seconds. And then once it's been installed, you'll see something on the left-hand side over here called Welcome to Gemini Code Assist. Supercharge your workflow. And um, what it does require is a login to Google Cloud. Um, it doesn't require your GitHub uh, repository um, at this stage. Um, so what we can do is just log into our Google Cloud. All right, so do you want to trust it? Yes. All right, so what we're going to do is log in, click on the account that we want to use. All right, and it's going to ask us to allow. All right, so Google Cloud is now authorized to access your account, and that's all great. Okay, so a project is required to use the Google Cloud Assist. All right, so we've enabled the APIs, Gemini code, etc., for your selected project. So um, if you've already got a project, then you can um, select it, or you can just create a project in your Google Cloud. Do my Gemini, because that's the one that I use all the time for help and assistance to get your Google Cloud set up, have a look at one of my other videos and uh, you'll see exactly how to get um, your new project started up as well as how to get how to get the most out of your Google Cloud environment. All right, so Gemini Code Assist is now um, included and working. So how do I use Gemini Code Assist? So let's just type, let's just click that over there. All right, so very similar to your um, um, Gemini interface where you can type in a prompt. All right, let's just check if it works. Okay, so it's basically come up with a bit of an answer over here. We can copy that to the clipboard, we can insert that into a file, or we can open it in a file. All right, so that's great. Right, so let's use Gemini Code Assist to create a streamlit script for us for a chatbot. So type in the command that you'd like and hit enter. What you're going to see now is it's going to give you a sample of what the app's going to look like on the top over here. It's going to give you a bit of the code that you need and it's going to give you some notes and some descriptions of how it actually um, works and pieces together. All right, so um, full disclaimer, I haven't tested it. This works exactly, but it's given us a really good start. All right, so we can copy it to clipboard or we can um, insert a new file or current file if we had one open, or we can click on open in a file. So let's click on open in a file. And what it's done now is it's created a file for us. So let's just go file, save as, and just call it, um, oh, let's just call it test. Yep, yeah, that's good. All right, so what we can do now is explain the code here. So right click the code that you want, go to code assist and click on explain this. What it's going to do now is it's going to pass the code to the uh, Gemini engine and it will basically um, give you a description of what each of those line items are doing and um, how it all sort of relates. All right, so to run it, uh, let's just click on uh, the run and um, we might need to just install the Python debugger. Okay, all right, cool. So to run a Streamlit app, all you need to do is go into your terminal, type in Streamlit, run, and then test.python. And uh, you'd need to have your Streamlit um, libraries installed. Uh, that's pretty simple. You check out one of my other videos. All right, and here's the uh, interface. All right, um, obviously we need to get your API key. Right, so now let's use the inline code function. So let's type in a command here, create a help button. And um, yeah, just type in the command that you'd like, then right click on it, go to Gemini Code Assist and say generate code. It'll then ultimately bring up a suggestion and you can click on tab or accept and it'll basically 
uh, pop the code into your program. If you're happy with it, um, you can just um, click save, uh, but you can just pop in the website over here, www.firstfordata.com, and um, let's hit save. And what we can do next is um, just hash that out. Um, or else it won't run. All right, let's go back to the run and we can start running a test on it. So again, what we want to do is run the streamlit app. So streamlit run and our file name, which is test.python. All right, and there we go. You can see the help uh, section that's just been created for us. So again, really quite simple and quick and easy to use um, the Gemini Code Assist. If you um, have other use cases, please pop them into the comments and I'm um, happy code assist programming.